prayer for the 2022 national and local elections. Let us pray that the forthcoming national and local elections may truly reflect the will of the Lord who guides our nation. For every petition, let us pray together, Deliver us, Lord. Deliver us, Lord. From coercion, intimidation, violence, and terrorism. Deliver us, Lord. From dishonesty, lies, and all distortion of truth. Deliver us, Lord. From bribery, graft, and all conspiracy for fraud. Deliver us, Lord. From gullibility to the deceptive and blindness of perspective. Deliver us, Lord. From threats, intimidation, and perverse language. Deliver us, Lord. Now let our response be, Hear us, Lord. Hear us, Lord. That conscience may always be our ultimate norm. Hear us, Lord. That the common good may always be our highest goal. Hear us, Lord. That human dignity may be respected all the time. Hear us, Lord. That the poor and the weak may always have the priority. Hear us, Lord. That care for creation may never be ignored. Hear us, Lord. That solidarity may guide the path of peace and development. Hear us, Lord. That genuine fear of God and love of neighbors may guide those who seek public office. Hear us, Lord. Let us pray. Shepherd of souls and Savior of the nations, politics is your gift to us, a call to serve others and grow in holiness. Guide our politics as you guide our lives. May our political engagement for voters and candidates bring glory to your loving name and help us grow in holiness forever and ever. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, in this Mass, let us pray for peace. Let us beg God to let His peace reign in our country and in the whole world, especially in Ukraine. Let us prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries of God's love. Let us call to mind our sins and entrust ourselves to God's merciful love. Lord Jesus, you are mighty God and Prince of Peace. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are Son of God and Son of Mary. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are Word made flesh and splendor of the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God of peace, who are peace itself, and whom a spirit of discord cannot grasp, nor a violent mind receive. Grant that those who are one in heart may persevere in what is good, and that those in conflict may forget evil and so be healed. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the letter of St. James. Do not complain, brothers and sisters, about one another, that you may not be judged. Behold, the judge is standing before the gates. Take as an example of hardship and patience, brothers and sisters, the prophets who spoke in the name of the Lord. Indeed, we call blessed those who have persevered. You have heard of the perseverance of Job, and you have seen the purpose of the Lord, because the Lord is compassionate and merciful. 
But above all, my brothers and sisters, do not swear, either by heaven or by earth or with any other oath, but let your yes mean yes and your no mean no, that you may not incur condemnation. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord is kind and merciful. The Lord is kind and merciful. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all my being. Bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all his benefits. The Lord is kind and merciful. He pardons all your iniquities. He heals all your ills. He redeems your life from destruction. He crowns you with kindness and compassion. The Lord is kind and merciful. Merciful and gracious is the Lord, slow in anger and abounding in kindness. He will not always chide, nor does he keep his wrath forever. The Lord is kind and merciful. For as the heavens are high above the earth, so surpassing is his kindness toward those who fear him. As far as the east is from the west, so far has he put our transgressions from us. The Lord is kind and merciful. Please stand. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. For the Lord, my soul gaze for His word. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus came into the district of Judea and across the Jordan. Again, crowds gathered around him, and as was his custom, he again taught them. The Pharisees approached him and asked, Is it lawful for a husband to divorce his wife? They were testing him. He said to them in reply, what did Moses command you? They replied, Moses permitted the husband to write a bill of divorce and dismiss her. But Jesus told them, Because of the hardness of your hearts, he wrote you this commandment. But from the beginning of creation, God made them male and female. For this reason, a man shall leave his father and mother and be joined to his wife, and the two shall become one flesh. So they are no longer two, but one flesh. Therefore, what God has joined together, no human being must separate. In the house, the disciples again questioned Jesus about this. He said to them, Whoever divorces his wife and marries another commits adultery against her. And if she divorces her husband and marries another, she commits adultery. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. My dear brothers and sisters, perseverance is the continued capacity of doing some actions or achieving some goals 
despite hindrances and difficulties. To persevere is not to give up even if it is hard. And St. James, in our first reading today, talks of perseverance. And instead of engaging into a discussion of what perseverance is all about, St. James, in our first reading, gives examples of people who persevered. He mentions the prophets who, despite persecutions and threats to their life, continued to speak the words of God. That is perseverance. Ang mga propeta, kahit na pinagtatangkaan ang kanilang buhay, kahit na sila'y inuusig at pinahihirapan, hindi tumigil sa pagsasalita sa ngalan ng Panginoon. Yan ang pagtsatsaga. And St. James also gives the example of Job, who despite all the crises that came to his life, never wavered in faith. Kung babalikan natin ang storya ni Job, alam natin na siya'y matuwid na tao, may matibay na pananampalataya, pero sinubok siya na wala ang lahat ng kanyang ari-arian, na wala ang lahat ng kanyang anak, at nagkasakit pa siya. Pero sa kabila ng lahat ng ito, hindi niya isinumpa ang Diyos. Hindi siya tumalikod sa Diyos. Nagtsaga siya sa kanyang pananampalataya. The prophets and Job were able to persevere because of their faith in God who is compassionate and merciful. Kung alam mong ang Diyos ay mahabagin, kung naniniwala ka na ang Diyos ay maawain, kaya mong magtsaga dahil may pananampalataya ka sa Diyos. And so, James says, Blessed are those who persevered because of their faith in God. Our Gospel today talks about the sanctity of marriage. And I am sure you will agree with me, especially husbands and wives, that in marriage, perseverance is very essential. Sa pagsasama ng mag-asawa, mahalaga ang pagtsatsaga. But take note, my dear brothers and sisters, especially husbands and wives, your perseverance in marriage is not only because you love each other. Minsan sinasabi ng mag-asawa, pagsisikapan nating maging buo at matibay ang ating pagsasama, magtsatsaga tayo sa isa't isa dahil mahal natin ang isa't isa. Love is important, but love is never enough. Your love for each other as husband and wife is not enough for you to persevere until the end. You persevere not only because of love, you persevere because of faith in God who chose you for each other. Dahil sa pananampalataya sa Diyos, dahil naniniwala tayo na pinili tayo ng Diyos para sa isa't isa, kaya tayo magtsatsaga 
sa ating pagsasama bilang mag-asawa. More than love, faith helps married couple persevere. Without faith, their love will easily fade away. Without faith, married couples will just give up on each other. Without faith, they will never persevere. Perseverance in faith. My dear brothers and sisters, today is a special day for our country because today we commemorate an important event in our lives as, as Filipinos. 36 years ago, through the power of prayer, we were able to overthrow the dictatorship regime. And that is what we call now as EDSA people power. It was a peaceful revolution, something that the whole world admired. But let us remember, my dear brothers and sisters, our power as a people depends not on the armed forces. Our power as a people depends not on authorities and people in power. Our power as a people does not depend on wealth, on economy, not even on our natural resources. Our power as a people depends on our faith in God. That is real people power. Without faith, we will not be powerful as a people. Ang tunay nating kapangyarihan bilang mga Pilipino ay ang ating pananampalataya sa Diyos. For as long as we have faith, we will always be powerful. For as long as we have faith, we will able to persevere all the trials, calamities, problems that come our way as a nation. For as long as we have power in faith and in prayer, we will be able to do miracles. Did not Jesus say, if you have faith, you can say to this mountain, be lifted up and thrown into the sea, and it will, it will follow you. Perseverance in the faith is our real power. My dear brothers and sisters, 36 years after the EDSA People Power Revolution, we are now being reminded again about our power as a people. And this year, we will once again exercise our power as a people in choosing our leaders. Power relies on people. Power relies on our faith, is dependent on our faith in God. And so let us always persevere in faith because that will make us powerful to overthrow lies, dishonesty, corruption, and all the evils in society. 
Let us persevere in our faith in God so that goodness, integrity, honesty, decency, peace may rule our land. Magtsaga tayo sa ating pananampalataya upang magtagumpay ang mga bagay na makadiyos at magapi nating muli ang masama. Kung nagkakaisa ang mga masama, magkampi-kampi naman tayo sa kabutihan at pananampalataya. Yan ang tunay na people power. My dear brothers and sisters, let us ask for the grace of perseverance in faith. Because if we have faith, we will be able to persevere until the end. God is our real power, and faith in Him will help us persevere. Please stand. Husbands and wives share in God's creation of new life. Our intercessions today center around the needs of parents and children. For every petition, let us say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That the church may become true to her vocation, of defending the integrity of marriage and of the family. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. prayer. That government leaders and legislators may enact laws and policies that build families rather than destroy them. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That families broken by divorce or separation may find support and understanding from people in their communities. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That the examples of Mary and Joseph may give inspiration to families in living out their commitments. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. We pray for all who are sick, especially those afflicted with COVID-19, and for those who care for them. May the vaccines and medicines, as well as our concern for each other, help end this pandemic. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. prayer. That our deceased relatives and friends may enjoy the peace of God's eternal home. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. In silence, let us pray for our personal petitions. Let us pray for the people who need our prayers. Let us pray for countries in conflict, especially Ukraine and Russia. And let us pray for all the intentions offered in this Mass. God of love, you created us male and female to continue your work of creation. May your love for one another reflect your indwelling presence. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated.
Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may become acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. May the saving sacrifice of your Son, the King of Peace, offered under sacramental signs that signify peace and unity, strengthen, we pray, O Lord, conquered among all your children through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, through your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, your Word through whom you made all things, whom you sent as our Savior and Redeemer, incarnate by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin, fulfilling your will and gaining for you a holy people, he stretched out his hands as he endured his passion so as to break the, the bonds of death and manifest the resurrection. And so with the angels and all the saints, we declare your glory as with one voice we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please stand. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, 
we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him, and with Him, and in Him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Let us pray to the Father as Jesus taught us. Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, heaven hallowed, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you, Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God. You take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold Jesus, the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the Supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. The body of Christ. Amen. Act of Spiritual Communion My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the Most Holy Sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to deceive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
Please stand. Let us pray. Bestow on us, we pray, O Lord, the spirit of charity, so that, sustained by the body and blood of your only begotten Son, we may be effective in nurturing among all the peace that he has left us, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. Sana, puso ng dalisay ng pin.